Okay. Uh, you know what, actually? Because you mentioned a William. Do we know of any Williams? Okay, okay, we're gonna need to do... Okay, he's pretty sure all the pieces are there. William. It's definitely someone in William is her boss. But I don't know if anyone named William. Listen, I'm pretty sure I don't. What are the names of... Not William Cox, right? Sam, okay, I'm trying to remember where the conversation we had with the... Uh, what the company people were. It was after... It was before this. The CEOs. Dyson. Abbott Dyson and Dan Kim... This one might actually be a little bit difficult. Because I don't know if I have... I don't know if I can suss out all the pieces. Not necessarily. So, we definitely know they specialize in Telanium. So, it's mining... Mining, mining... Okay, so there are only three companies that specialize in Telanium. So we know it's Telanium and mining. But this is a lot of different companies right here. can make the assumption because Zorad isn't working for the Liberators, right? Like, it seems like she's opposing them. Kind of. Hmm.
Hmm. See, I uh, see. This is what's hard because I'm almost wondering if if I could get Cox. If I could get Cox, would I have been able? Would I have been able to figure out any more information? Okay, I want to see if I can see anyone named William in any of these. Because that was a slip. But that was a slip that we probably need. So we're going to go through this and we're going to... We're gonna comb through this a little bit. Looks mining. It's to land him directly from the mining companies based on Drovia. Butter forced to sell the resource to Yara, which in turn sells the telling to all companies processing the material, including those on Drovia. Abraham Gonzalez publicly supported the cause of the Drovian fight for independence last week. Saying call the boys, her people abducted Laura. See, this is the interesting thing. It does almost seem like there's kind of an like alternate factions here because like they wanted to stop Kazora and her mercenaries for some reason want to seem to stop the Liberators' attacks. That is a little bit strange. Yeah, so Zora doesn't know 
who the leader of the Liberators are. So they are opposing the Liberators. Pretty sure he got assignment from someone in the Talanium business. See, that narrows it down a lot, but it doesn't quite narrow it down enough. Be epic if you eat Horus and Horus have made some time during this adventure. That would be pretty cool. I feel like Horus deserves something like that. Oh man. Yeah, so they were working for the Liberators, but now, because the Liberators haven't paid them, they're opposing the Liberators. Curious if Boyd said anything else. Like, admittedly, I do have more reason to believe that it's Dyson Enterprises than it to be Milk's Mining. I feel like it wouldn't be Hano Metals, but it could be. But Williams asked me to take care of the handover. I forget, he also mentioned a Williams.
see, that's just to convict him. A lot of it's probably in news articles. And in what the CEO said. Because we know they work in Talanium. Through that, we can narrow it down, but it's still really difficult. See, did we not get any, get everything from the HQ? Just want to see how much this all will matter still. Yeah, and like once again that just tells us it's it's a mining thing, which we already knew. But Telanium is only a mining industry thing. But I mean we probably get that if we don't know that he also worked in Telanium. So it's not really helping us much. Not really. See, it's all going to be hidden in here. It has to be. It has to be hidden in the news articles. Because we need to find, like, a, a good motive for which company would do it. And if we can find a motive for what company would do it, then we can discern who it most likely is. Checking the time real quick. I mean, I'm probably going to finish the game before the end of the stream. I don't really plan on... Because we're close. We're definitely close. This is probably the last big thing we need. Let's just see here. Error provided humanitarian aid, wealth gap. I don't know if this matters. Some of this probably won't matter. Relationship will is tense. So, in person, first time in their lives, the relationship is tense. Extracts the majority of Jovi's Telanium. Its profits are severely undercut by its status as a colonial entity. So, it, it does seem like Dyson probably has more to gain from the Jovian independence. Because we have seen multiple times that, you know, they do get undercut by millets. It's part of the cause of Jovian fight for independence. 
There is a girl in column with no economic autonomy. But the Liberators oppose Jovid independence. So, just looking at this. Hmm. And what did we learn from Gonzalez? He just wanted money, right? You got paid to fetch the stick. The person who contacted me spoke Drovian. I mean, to be fair, I think that does implicate, I think Person who contacted me spoke Drovian. I mean, I think that right there even just kind of gives it to us. I'm just not too sure what he'd have to gain. By working for an anti-Drovian independence. Or by working with an anti-Drovian independence movement. Person who contacted me spoke Drovian. And he didn't know why. So even though he might support Drovian independence, he didn't know... He didn't know that they were probably an anti-Drovian an anti uh, independence group. Okay, what was the message from the sniper cell again? It was like this one, right? Yeah. So, like, that's good info, but that's not really helpful to us right now. So, he spoke Drovian. Okay, I want to see what the CEOs had to say. Because I feel like that will probably be the final piece I need. So, I'm pretty sure we have it. See if there's anything. Excuse me if there's anything said here. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Um. I see, and the thing is, he started the implication first, too. Because, yeah, it's kind of true. He, they're, like, his company's perfectly fine. He doesn't really gain anything. I don't think. Mining business is an important pillar of the system-wide economics. So... 
Which one of these are based on Drovia? Like Dyson Enterprises is. The other ones are based on Gyara. Like the only one it could be is Dyson Enterprises. The only question is why? How many based on Drovia? I mean, that's... That is indeed the only real option, because he's... Because the, the guy spoke Drovian. He would have been the head of a, a, a CEO. There's no reason why... A Gyarin would speak Drovian. So, the only real option is... Name of the company is Dyson. They're based on Drovia. Like, this has to be it. Because they're the only company based on Drovia, and we know whoever it was spoke Drovian. Now, once again, you know, you could make the assumption like, oh, maybe Kim learned Drovian. And that's possible, but the game hasn't given us any indication that that's the case, right? And the game has to give us the info. And the thing is, whoever it is has been working with a lot of Drovian independence fighters for some reason. So I'm, that's, that's the weird thing. I assume we'll figure that out. Unless he's doing this to try and frame Kim and Milix. He also might not be a Savian. He also might hate Savians. Um... You know, actually, actually thinking about it, the motive could kind of make sense. Because what he might be trying to do is he wants Drovian self-governance, right? So what's a really good way of doing that and inciting the people to self-govern than saying, Hey, look, Gyara doesn't care about you. Gyara can't protect you. You know? It's kind of like one of those those things where it's like... What's what I'm looking for? Like, funnily enough, I think the American government's kind of done similar things, but I don't quite remember. Like, wasn't, like, didn't the Bay of Pigs incident have something to do with that? I think it was called Bay of Pigs, right? Where it's like they tried... Like, the, like, the American government sent Marines to Cuba... to somehow incite some... I, I don't remember. I don't remember. But I think it's a very similar thing because I, I guess they're trying to oust Castro. Right? I don't remember the details, but I remember something about that. So, I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense, I think. Dyson, Drovia, Mining, and Telanium. I'm going to lock it in because I'm pretty sure all the evidence points to this. And that could be the reason, too. Maybe he does want to incite a revolt by saying Gyara can't protect Drovia. And Gyara can't protect the Sabians. Because it even says right here in the news 
that large demonstrations have been held instigated by saving front member well allegedly instigated for, uh, by saving front members and has damaged like Yaren owned businesses and they've been demanding droving self governance like that has to be it Dyson Drovia mining Telanium. I'm locking it in. Abbott Dyson. All the signs pointed towards him and his company. I didn't feel like I had the full picture just yet, but some aspects finally made sense to me. None of the people we had encountered seemed to support what the Liberators claimed to stand for. This wasn't a Garian terror group at all. It was Drovians. Savians. Hired guns. That's, that's the word. False flag people, operation, yeah. All working for one man's false flag operation. What was he trying to accomplish? Stir up enough trouble to force the solar system into a war? I had talked to Dyson the morning after Banny's death. He was still in Gara, hiding in plain sight, and I still had his number. I considered my options. We needed to arrest him. But maybe we could have a chat first. Just the two of us. Once the CDI had him, he wouldn't be able to talk freely. I took out my cell and tapped his face in my contacts. Before I do that, I just want to like make sure I put... I put this in correctly. The answer is probably yes. Morning, Mr. Dyson. This is Neil Conrad with the CDI. Ah, Agent Conrad. How can I help you? There's something I'd like to talk to you about in person. Could we meet on the train that stops at Louisville in half an hour? I have an important call in ten minutes. Could we make an appointment for tonight? This can't wait. If you insist, I'll tell my secretary to delay my call. Thanks. See you in a bit. I think I may have nailed it. Yeah, okay. I'm just making sure I don't have an optional objective. I think I nailed it. Because I, th cause I think that makes sense, right? Like, it is definitely, like, a false flag operation. That'd be the only way. Email. Liam Campbell, breakfast. Good morning, Conrad. I'm taking a walk in the little park near your place this morning. You know the one. Once you leave the elevator, just keep going straight past the fountain. I'll be sitting down for a coffee near the gazebo. Come around if you want to join me. I'll be here for another hour or two. Yeah, sure. I'll talk to the chief. This way, yeah. There he is. Morning, Chief. Morning, Conrad. It's Campbell now. Right. You wanted to talk to me? I need you to give me your word that you won't tell anyone about our meeting today. Okay. You have my word. You're an excellent investigator, Conrad. You found out that the sniper shot at Banny from the Sakura Hotel. You have a sharp mind. You identified the bartender at the hotel as the one who helped Diaz escape. You found the sniper's boat in the harbor. That helped us track him down and retrace his escape. You figured out what Banny's murderer looked like. Thanks to that, we are able to catch him and his associate on Joris Plaza. I wonder if this is just kind of telling me what I got right and what I got wrong. And you determined who had started the Liberator's video at AdSpot. That's why I could go after more and Cox so quickly. Do you know what makes you so good at your job? You question just about anything. In all my years at the CDI, I've never met a bigger skeptic than you. But that can also make your life harder if you want to climb the ranks at the CDI. However, yeah, however, bah, bah, how come I can't say the word however? Alright, hold on, let me wet my lips a little bit. However, if that doesn't concern you, you might want to have a closer look at the Sector 2 incident. I don't know exactly what it is they're trying to hide, but the data they're so desperately protecting has something to do with it. Who? Who was hiding something? The AG, for sure. Maybe just her. I think something happened back when she was director of the CDI. She's been acting strange. The sudden decision, dis yeah, the sudden decision to arrest Cox when she heard his name was the last straw. One more thing, Conrad. There's a security alert in the database. Some unauthorized connection from your cell. Whatever it was you were trying to do, I took the liberty of dismissing the alert. 
There's no more record of it. I have to go now. This will be the first evening without work I had in a while. Thank you for meeting me. Okay, well, that's good. So he dismissed the alert. So we would have fucked over Gary Long pretty hard. But we chose not to. So this is good. I didn't get anything, right? No. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Man, this game's so good, dude. Hello, small children's. My heart was pounding. Would Dyson really come, or did I spook him? Did he suspect I was onto him? It would be a while until I found out, so I sat down and took a deep breath. At least I had a little time to think about what to say to him if he showed up. Ooh, what's gonna happen here? So you got him trained, right? Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, I'm, I'm both excited and also really concerned. Every single time, I'm like, did I really make the right choice? Mr. Dyson. Good evening, Agent Conrad. This is an interesting setting for a chat. It is. Let's get straight to the point. I have sufficient proof that you are part of or even all of the Liberators. That's a big accusa accusation to throw around. What proof would that be? I know you hired mercenaries to kill Banny and to steal some data from the Chief's cell. You also instructed Cox to broadcast the Liberator's message and to bomb... Uh, Korean Church. Korean Church? If there's anything else going on that endangers people's lives, you need to tell me right now. If you're so sure of all that, why didn't the CDI just arrest me? I want to know why you did it. You're a savient from Drovia. What's more, your company suffers financially from operating inside an unfree colony. You have all the reason to support Drovian independence. I do support Drovian independence, but not for economic reasons. Don't you think that the status quo is unacceptable in a modern society? Giara forces us to hand over all the fruit of our labor like we live in feudal times, only to resell it at an incredible profit. Your planet exploits and enslaves my people for its own financial gain. If that's how you see it, why did you create an anti-Savian, anti-emancipation terrorist group? All Drovian needs to finally explode is a spark. I provided just that. Did you read the news today? Drovian resistance against its oppressors has never been stronger. So you admit it. You did it to lend momentum and legitimacy to a Savian revolution. To push public opinion on Drovia to a point where a secession war seems inevitable. But they were already negotiating. Why didn't you just support Banny on the summit? Joseph was in no position to change things. The whole summit was a big dog and pony show. History teaches us that you can't obtain independence uh, the peaceful way. If you want it, you take it. And a war is worth it for you? Especially considering that Drovia is unlikely to win it? If a war is what it takes, we have to try. Besides, New Joran will take our side if any. You know... I'm really not buying your man of the people spiel. This is all about your company's bottom line. Think of me any way you want. It doesn't matter. The way I see it, I'm using my influence and money to fight for the right cause. Don't you think thousands of innocent lives are a pro prohib prohibit what? Prohibit what? Okay, wait, hold on. Prohibitively? Prohibitively. High price to pay? It's interesting you'd bring that up, being a CDI agent yourself. What are you talking about? The data I've been wanting to get my hands on. Did you have a look at it? No. It contains classified information about the Sector 2 incident, which also cost thousands of innocent lives. But just as importantly, Sabians lost the right to a self-governed colony on Drovia. Gara cited a charter that it had made up itself and launched an independent investigation which identified major construction and security flaws as causes of the disaster. I'm familiar with the incident. What are you getting at? I'm gonna go have a sip. Those backward Savians don't believe in real science, so they don't know how to build a safe colony. Sounds convincing, doesn't it? What if I told you that the colony was sabotaged by Gyara? I'd probably believe you, to be honest. 
don't be ridiculous. The operation was launched out of fear and greed. A saving colony on the biggest Talanium source in the system. Free to trade with New Duran. Losing the Talanium... Oops. Whoopsies. Losing the Talanium race could have meant losing supremacy over the solar system at the time. They couldn't allow that to happen. Who? Who are you talking about? A number of politicians and other elites, and of course the CDI is their, ex is their executive force. Your Attorney General, Amelia Thorne. She was director of the CDI at the time. So before you judge me, look at the people you work for and what they did. I know so many people who died or lost someone in the incident. So many more who lost their livelihoods. No. This is too big. So many people would have to stay quiet for it just to stay a secret for so long. Well, it will come out. And not that many people know. Who knows at the CDI? Does Gary know? The Chief? The Director? Everybody involved is retired by now except Miss Thorne. But some people must know. There are records of it. They will see the light of day soon enough. I know that the mercenaries you hired are working on getting them back. They abducted my daughter and blackmailed me into helping them. I'm sorry to hear that. They did not act on my behalf when they took your daughter. Listen, Mr. Dyson. Uh, I won't arrest you if you pay them now. The mercenaries will free my daughter as soon as they get the money you promised them. I won't arrest you if you pay them now. It doesn't make much of a difference to me if you arrest me. I might have to do some time, but I have the best lawyers in the system. What I care about is that the data becomes public. Get it, and the mercenaries will be paid. Once they send it over, it will get leaked, even if I am in prison. I have people making sure of that. It doesn't matter what you care about. I want my daughter back. Pay them. Now. I would consider it, but I missed the window. The transaction expired. <clears throat> I see. You're under arrest. Uh, I don't know. That's toughy. You're getting off the train with me at the next stop. I can't let you get away with this. But until we arrive, I have some final questions. Tell me. Um, what do you know about Laura's abductors? What do you know about the people who took my daughter? Not much, to be honest. You probably forget about most of it already. They're a secret group of mercenaries, and they run big operations in the whole solar system. If you want a higher profile job done, you go to them. Where's their HQ, and where are they keeping my daughter? I don't know. They're very secretive. They only meet you in public areas, or they come to you. I see. What is Cox's role in all of this? Why does Cox help you? I imagine bombing a church isn't something you can just pay any security company to do. Albert's parents were old friends of mine. Their company was in charge of security at Sector 2. They went bankrupt after the explosions. Some people put the blame for the incident on them. They're getting death threats to this day. I supported them and their son financially. As you can imagine, Cox has every reason to want revenge on what, for what Gary did to his family. Why work with the mercenaries when you already had Cox's guys to do your dirty work? Parts of the plan were out of his wheelhouse. I see. That's all for now. We'll get out at the next stop. I'll inform my colleagues that we are coming. Oh boy. I hope arresting him is, is the right idea here. I hope I have the right plan. Because, like, he should be arrested for what he's done, yes. Definitely. Hey, welcome back, Bass Ackwards. Hey, Conrad. Are you sure about this? I am. Alright, then. Good job. I got this. Gary wanted to talk to you. He's inside. You're waiting here with us, Mr. Dyson. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're getting... We're getting to parts where I'm starting to feel a little bit scared. And where I'm now wondering if I made little mistakes along the way. 
Hopefully not. But I probably did. Phone call. Hello? This is Evelyn Moore. Did you find my husband? I, uh... What is it? Did something happen to him? He... Didn't turn up. So I was right, wasn't I? He's not working with the Liberators after all. We're looking into it. What's that supposed to mean? Did you find him at Korean Hotel or not? Now's not a good time, okay? You promised to, project, to protect James. If something happens to him. Please. Our son needs, our, needs a father. Let's... Talk about it later. Ooh, boy, oh boy. Uh, see, this... Ah, things are getting so hard, dude. Things are getting so rough. Where the fuck is he? Chief is fourth floor. Wait. No, Chief is third floor. So is this third floor? I guess it is. Oh, it's, no. Oh, Gary, where are you? Is Gary, like, in the office still? You thought those stair signs were, like, signs to have a smoke this whole time? Perfectly fair. I could understand why you'd think that. There he is. There's the boy. Hey, shit, Conrad. You really found the mastermind behind the Liberators. Finally, some good news. I just hope that this whole shit show is over now. Why did Dyson do it? It's kind of a long story. He was trying to escalate the situation between our planets. I see. Let's talk about it in detail later. Did Dyson tell you what that second attack was about? Uh, he did. They were going to bomb Korean Church, but he called it off. Holy fuck. Well, the most important thing is that we got him. That's a good start to my time as chief, isn't it? Well, acting chief, but yeah. I have a meeting with the press in a few minutes. We'll go over everything later. Roger that. Mmm. I was supposed to write a report on my findings in the Liberator's case, but I wasn't able to concentrate for even a second. First, I needed to wait for my colleagues to go home to be alone with Saito. He always worked late. But then what? What if he refused to help me? The idea of having to force him was devastating. He was my friend, after all. When I finally managed not to think about it anymore, a much more dire thought crept up on me. Laura might die tonight. And if she did, it would be my fault. Yes, I need to submit the data sheet now. Well, I'm pretty sure this one we know is about the Sector Two incident. Okay, I want I want to like just double check here. Um. Yeah, man. I hope. I hope. I hope, man. Uh, so let's see. I mean, this one, I'm pretty sure I know exactly what it is. But I just want to do, like, a double check. Yeah, so it is about the Sector 2 incident. That was in the year 1800, because I remember we got a news article ages ago. It was like 40th anniversary, so it was in the year 1800 uh, on Drovia. 
Yeah, so, so it was about the second shoe incident, the year 1800 in Drovia. So I want to like double check incident, colonization efforts on Drovia. I did submit that right, like correctly, right? I, I, I am, I'm paranoid. Incident, oh, sector two incident that took place in 1800 on Drovia. And I just want to double check I got Drovia correct. The Garen colony. Sector 2 incident for an abruptly and permanent end to New Durant's colonization efforts on Drovia. Yeah. Okay, so I got it all right. Right? Right? It's like the final sheet, and I just want to make sure. Yeah, okay. Now, Saito would probably be down in here, right? No, he'd be in the bottom one. Oh shit, where's Saito? Cause I need to talk to Saito, right? Okay, well he's not down there. I guess it's true. I don't quite know where Saito would be at this time of night. Not really that way. I guess he'd be behind one of these doors. Whichever one it might be. Imagine if I had to get him before he actually, like, had to leave work. Fuck, where is he? Where are you, Saito? And I'm feeling a little bit silly because I don't, I don't quite know where, where Saito is at this point. And I don't think he said where Saito was. No, Saito is like over here. No. I don't know. He has to be in one of these rooms. Unless I need to catch him like at the train, I guess. Unless it was Saito standing there, and it, I just didn't notice him, which I guess is also possible. Oh, yeah, this is Saito. But how come this thing's not orange? Maybe it's a slight bug there. Okay, so I was wrong. Saito was there this whole time. Mayhaps I am a bit blind. Hey, Saito. Neo, hey, you're working late. Listen, there's something I need to talk to you about. Of course. What's the matter? Saito, I... I'm sorry. Sorry? For what? Is everything alright? No, it's not. My daughter... Lara was abducted, and the people who took her want something from me. I need your help to get it for them. What? Lara was abducted? When? By whom? By a group of mercenaries. Shit. I'm so sorry, Neil. What's the CDI's plan of action? The CDI? What do you think those people will do if I told the CDI about it? Wait, you didn't tell anyone else at the CDI? No. Look, we don't have much time. The mercenaries want me to help them get the data back that they stole from the chief. They managed to create a backdoor to the CDI network. They can briefly alter the access rights to the folder they want from the CDI database. But they won't be able to retrieve it. That can only be done from a local computer. 
That's how you come in. You're a sysadmin, right? You have to grant their request for access to a specific folder you're not usually able to see. They'll pull all the data from that folder to your local drive. Put it on a stick and give it to me. They made it clear it was not to be sent over the web. Okay, listen, I... Holy fuck. I'll bring them the data and then I'll get Laura back. Neo, you realize that you can't trust these people, right? Why are you so convinced that they'll hold up their end of the bargain? If you want to save Laura, you have to ask the higher ups at the CDI for help. I don't know enough about those people. No chance the CDI would be able to track them down in time. The hack will go down in five minutes. If I don't hand them the data tonight, they might kill her. I have an idea. Once they open up the folder thereafter, I might be able to locate the source of the back door. We'll explain to the others what's going on and we'll raid the location before the handover is scheduled. They'll have Laura back before they find out that before they find out that we never went through with the hack. I mean, it sounds like a convincing argument. If we do it that way, we still get to retrieve the data in the folder. We won't need it. But if you can't trace them and don't get the data, we have nothing. Fine. I'll accept the data transfer either way. I'll delete if I I'll delete if I'm able to trace the hack. I'll hand them the data as planned. No. That's too risky. I'll hand them the data as planned. They expect me in an hour. Please, Neil. Come to your senses. Those are criminals. You can't work with them. I'm... Not so sure anymore who the bigger criminal li here is. Exactly, right? Look, that's kind of my logic with this, too. What are you talking about? You know what? Do what you think is best. But I won't be a part of it. Please. Don't make it complicated, Saito. I really need your help. I can't tell the CDI about it. I really don't want to do this, but you leave me no choice. Tell them it was all me, that I forced you to do it. But I beg you, get me that data. I... Are you insane? Fine. Fine, I'll do it. Put your gun down for the love of God. Because we already know that the CDI has their hands in this whole thing, right? If I tell the CDI, then, yeah, no good will come of it. What is this data anyway? Why do they want it? I'm not sure. I don't have time to explain. She's calling. Hey, Neil, I got your sheet. Already on your end? Yeah, we're ready. Good. We're, sur we're searching that folder now. I'll tell you when we have. Uh, I'll tell you when you have access. All right, there we are. You're good to go. Okay, I think Saito's retrieving the data. I got it. Good work. I'll see you at the handover. God damn, Neil. I'm really sorry, Saito. Hand me the stick, and please give me a little lead before you send them after me. I'd do the same for you. I really enjoyed working with you. I can't believe you betrayed us. Ah, Saito, no! I'm doing it for the greater good. Wait, what's my objective? Run, okay. I went the wrong way. Whoops. It all seems a bit more zoomed in now. I don't remember which way to go. Objective survive energy. I know, right, man? Like, this is going... Like, I really don't know. I, I really think telling the CDI is a bad idea. Just because, like, yeah, like, the CDI is, is in on, like, everything. They're literally complacent to the tragedy that happened. I inserted the stick into my cell and opened up the folder. My heart was pounding. For, 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 for a moment, it looked like the data wouldn't load. Okay, that was a little bit the weird. files started appearing on the screen. Dozens, maybe hundreds of documents, messages, pictures, and videos. They were decades old. 
Most of them dated 1799 or 1800. Their confidentiality level was one I'd never seen before. This was the type of data the Garion network would instantly pick up and trace, both to its receiver and back to its sender. It made sense to physically hand deliver it if one wished to remain anonymous. I didn't know where to begin, so I opened up the very first file in the list, the oldest one, with shaking hands. It was a document sent from someone at the Department of Commerce to the director of the CDI at the time, Emilia Thorne, now Attorney General in charge of the Justice Department. My eyes widened as I skimmed over the par paragraphs. Yeah, was weird. I don't know why it's doing letter. that now. I checked the time. 20 more minutes. I sat down and opened up the second one, then the third. As the conversation went on, a plan was hatched between a handful of politicians, special interest groups from the private sector, and high-ranking members of the CDI. I didn't recognize most of the names. Some might have been pseudonyms. I stopped looking at the files halfway through and let my head sink onto the backrest. Even though they had used very careful language at first, the goal and purpose of the operation were abundantly clear. The failure of Sector 2 hadn't been an accident. Garians had plotted and engineered it to gain sole access to Drovia's resources and given its strategic importance at the time, ultimately retained supremacy over the solar system. My head was spinning while I tried to figure out what all of it meant for the present and for me. I had long doubted the integrity of the CDI. Was it still rotten to the core or had things changed? I didn't know about any ongoing operations that were breaching interplanetary law, but then most agents at the time of the Sector 2 incident hadn't known either. And some of the things I did know about, I didn't want to think about them too much. Now what? On the one hand, the public had a right to know. The culprits had to be found and brought to justice. Reparations had to be paid to the affected families and businesses. On the other hand, if the truth came out, the liberators would win. Savient extremists might be emboldened enough to take control of the colony and declare independence. If that happened, Gara would send its ships, and New Joran might send theirs to back up their mm. savient brethren. And to finally gain access to the planet's Telenium, of course, if their site won. Hundreds might die. Thousands, even. Time was mm. running out. I tapped the contact of a journalist I had met a while back. I still hadn't made a decision when I heard the dial tone. The data would probably go through if I decided to send it, but there was no way in hell it wouldn't be traced back to me. My heart was pounding so loudly in my ears that I almost didn't hear the voice on the other end. This is Adrian Boley with the Garen Gazette. How can I help you? Hello? Are you there? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I'm hanging up. I have information for you. Who is this? I can't tell you. I'm gonna leak the data. I'm sending you a data package now. It's flagged and will be quickly picked up and traced by authorities. The computer might be bricked. Back it up to an external hard drive as quickly as you can. Are you serious? Please confirm that you understand what I just said. I understand. Good. The public needs to know this. Promise me that I won't get buried. Well, I'll have to look at it first. Please, I may not have a second chance to send it out. Did you get it all? Yeah, I got it. Okay. It's in your hands now. Alright, so we leaked out very highly confidential data. And it's probably going to be a bad end for Neil. But hopefully we'll at least get Laura back. At the end of it all. That's my objective. Save Laura. These are some cool train systems. Might turn this on.
Agent Conrad, welcome to our meeting. Glad you made it. Hope you didn't have any trouble finding the place. No. Where is my daughter? You'll see her in a second. Let's make sure we're on the same page first. You came here alone, unarmed, and without anyone else knowing. Yeah. And you have to stick with the data we demand on your person. I got what you want. And lastly, once you and your daughter are out, are out of here, you will not tell anyone. Yeah, you will not tell anyone about what happened ever. We won't. Very well. Then we're good to go. You can follow us down into the basement. The basement. here now. It's going to be alright. Sora, you're up. Give me the stick. I need to check its contents. It's all there. What the? Everything alright? Yeah, it's just... I can't believe what I'm looking at. But we're good. This was the folder we targeted. Great! Thank you very much for helping us, Agent Conrad. You two are free to go. So that's it? You just let us walk out of here? We had a deal, didn't we? Stay quiet about it, and enjoy the rest of your life. I trust you. I trust you'll be true to your word. Zora vouched for you. Which was quite out of character for Zora. Mr. Conrad, if you act up, we'll consider our deal broken, and we'll find you and your family. Thank you, Zora. Good luck, Laura. Let's go home. Whew. Daughter officially saved. Uh, but now what? You know, I think overall, we did everything correct, in my opinion. I don't know, it's still an area, though. That's kind of very gray. Don't turn around. Keep walking. It's all going to be alright. You're safe now, okay? I kept it my end of the bargain, and they'll keep up theirs. Are you okay? Are you hurt? It's over. It's all over, Laura. It's all over. Laura, are you hurt? No. What? Why is she running, Lou? Or is it just a way... Is it just us escaping? It's probably just us escaping. That's it. The most tumultuous days of my life, and possibly in Garian history. Abbott Dyson has been charged with interplanetary terrorism, first-degree murder, and more that would put a normal person away for multiple lifetimes. Unfortunately, he is one of the world's most influential billionaires, and as it stands now, he isn't going to prison for more than a few years. It is rumored that he's putting someone else in charge of his company for the time being and will be allowed back at his post after serving his sentence. With their mastermind unmasked, at least it's safe to say that the Liberators won't ever make another appearance. That is true. Even though Dyson and Cox each lost a lot in the Sector 2 incident, I don't believe their actions were really driven by a righteous thirst for revenge. Almost all the people who have suffered and might still suffer from their actions had nothing to do with Gara's past crimes. Ultimately, 
Dyson had tried to start an interplanetary war in hopes of increasing his profit margins, and he might still succeed in it. Might. The data I leaked sent a shock wave through the solar system. The source of the leak was quickly discovered, and the CDI not only fired me on the spot, but also tried to scrub me from their records and made all sorts of claims to discredit me. The Garian state scrambled to spin the narrative on the Sector 2 incident, but the data was authentic and unambiguous. Forty years ago, the Savient colony on Drovia had been sabotaged in a secret operation initiated by a handful of Gyara's top politicians, economic elites, and the CDI under the leadership of Amelia Thorne, now Attorney General and leader of the Gyarian Department of Justice. It became clear to me why she had tried to hide the data, fired the chief when he got too close, and ordered the arrest of Cox when she realized who he was. She is currently awaiting trial, along with a number of mostly retired politicians who were implicated in the conspiracy. All right. I still feel bad we didn't, like, save more, but... Lara is free again and seems to be doing okay. But I wonder every day about the scars this experience has left behind. Even though I know I'm not directly to blame, I will never forgive myself for inadvertently dragging her into all this. As for me, I am free again, as free as I was before, but my life is forever changed. Catherine and I are dating again, however crazy that sounds. Things are so different now. The world is so different that maybe something good can come of it again. Finally, Zora, easily the strangest person I've met in my life. Despite the terrible things she did, I'm grateful for her help when it really counted. I don't know if there is a path of redemption for her, but vouching for me might have been her first step towards it. Pretty good. This game was really good. So I'm not too sure what we could have done any different. Well, I know there are a lot of things we could have done very differently. But I think overall I got the ending I kind of wanted. Azari, I have a turn on my Switch. You're redeemed. You're very nice. Yeah, because like... It was really good. It was a really good game. It really kept kept me going and really made me... It made me actually think. And it made me think on the spot. Like, a lot. Right? Like... Like, I was like, do we leak the information? Well, yeah, sure. Right? Like... And the fact that it saves... Pretty much immediately after every choice, it's like you're completely locked in to whatever you do. Even if you mess up, you're just locked in. That's your choice now, you know? Which I really like. I'm sure there are a lot of people that would be against something like that. But I think it really adds a lot to it because I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. You don't really see it often, like, on stream, I don't think. But I, I, I can be a safe scummer in certain games. Right? Like, for example, if I made a decision in uh, Knights of the Old Republic, like Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, and I'm like, okay, I thought the decision meant this instead, or it led to in a direction that I didn't think about first and hadn't considered, then I might reload my save and do it again. Right? And this game was also very gray with what to do, I feel. Like, the only things I think I could do different would probably be, like, to get a quote-unquote, like, better ending, I guess. Well, maybe not a better ending, because I'm sure the ending would be the same. But to get, like, a better, like, I did everything correctly kind of thing would probably be somehow, I don't know how, but somehow making it so 
I could actually save more. But maybe, maybe it's implied that he's still okay, but I'm not really too sure. Ah, uh, end? End? Okay, not me. Okay, never mind. I thought I was going to say end you, the player. But it's not me. I do like it when the game thanks me. But I didn't, I didn't get that this day. But yeah. It was a really good game. And even if you watch me play through the whole thing, you can still play through the game yourself and probably have a, a fairly different experience. Depending on what you do. Epilogue. What happens if I hit play again? I'm just curious. And that's it. Okay, it's literally it just the epilogue. Okay. days of my. Yeah. So. That's. Abbott Dyson has been charged with interplanetary oh, okay, well, terrorism. He's gonna murder and more that would put a normal person away. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say. So the game only started having like weird little audio issues like at the end, and I'm not too sure why. But yeah, overall the game is really good. And if you want to play it yourself, it is cheap on Steam. In Canadian money, it's like eighteen dollars. So it's it's very cheap, and even and in American money, it's even cheaper, right? So. Um. Yeah, no, you can play the game and have a different experience. Maybe you'll do things differently, right? Because, yeah, I feel like this game could go in a lot of different directions depending on what you do. I mean, maybe it won't, though. Maybe a lot of it will still depend on what you do and how you do it. And maybe it'll still generally follow the same basic storyline. I'm not too sure how, to be honest, but maybe it will. Um, but yeah, it was really good. Really recommend people buy this, because it's really good. I would love to see a sequel by these devs. Like, ma like, maybe not a sequel to Lacuna. I just don't know why it's even called Lacuna. But maybe not quite a sequel to, like, this game. Like, no Lacuna 2. But just a game that's in a very similar vein. Because I got a really... A really good feel from this one. Really, really good. Uh, I remember you playing Stardew Valley. I feel like you saved Scum there. I, I might have. I'm not too sure how I would have saved Scum necessarily. I think I would have done it with the stew, but I don't know if I ever needed to. Excuse me. Uh, I remember reading something funny about how like the hardest achievement in the game is to side with a company there, other than like 100%. That's interesting. Give it two tomato dog pluses out of golden bananas. That's fair. Yeah, a no, really, really good game. Really, really good game. Really glad I played this. And once again, I want to thank you guys for voting on this in the Humble Choice poll. This is the exact reason why I do the Humble Choice poll. To maybe play some games that I haven't seen ever and would not reluctantly play, but would kind of push off to the side for a little bit, right? And to showcase that, you know, there are a lot of people that go, mm, Humble Choice isn't that good. Didn't have, where's my AAA games in Humble Choice? You see a lot of those kind of people. Where they're like, where's my AAA games in Humble Choice? You don't need to have a AAA game to have a good Humble Choice. And I think this game right here kind of proves it. This game is really good. Despite not being what one would consider a AAA title from a big name dev. Right? Had a good story, kept me engaged, made me think a lot, as it should, in uh, a game where you have to piece together puzzles. And... Yeah, it, it had a good art style. It was really, really solid. If you forgot if we posted a link for the new poll, I have not yet, but that's either going up tonight or tomorrow. M more than likely. Uh, tonight or tomorrow. Next stream, Bloodborne? Probably. Because I don't really have any other games that... I mean, I want to see what I'm going to stream over the next while. Bloodborne is probably going to be what we get back to, though. Maybe Ghost Trick Back from the Dead sometime. I will talk to Megan about that. Because she has been talking about wanting us to finish Ghost Trick. 
it was just a little bit more complicated because we both just got really busy and then we we both been either consistently busy when she could be around for the stream or um she's been sick or I've been sick so it's been it's it's been kind of bad but I we we've both been wanting to get back to, yeah bad we've both been wanting to get back to ghost trick for sure so if we stream any games on the weekend once again, I, I'm not saying for sure because I want to talk to her about that. But if we do any uh, streams on the weekend, I will let you all know. And it'll probably be Ghost Trick. Um, otherwise, next stream will be Wednesday. Uh, and it'll be Bloodborne. So, whew, man. Man, that was good. So we're going to see if we can find a... What the fuck is this? Wait, why did that do that? We're going to see if we can find any cool peeps we can throw a fun raid to. So give me one sec while I go and set that up. But yeah, I'm not really too sure what other games I'd really want to stream. I'm going to be doing a bit, of, a bit of thinking, probably looking through my Steam library to figure some of this stuff out. So, whomst do I have? Whomst do I have? Quite a few, actually. Quite a few people streaming today. Um, let's throw it to... I don't know who. I don't know who I want to throw it to. We'll throw it to... Maybe we'll throw it back to Bobby Berserk again. Normally, I don't... Um, normally, I don't raid the same person, like, twice in a row. But he's still playing Blood Rain, and I think that's fun. And, you know, unless it's doing the same thing that it did with Claws earlier. I'm not really seeing anybody else who necessarily need it or benefit from it. Or, it's really anybody else I'd, I'd feel more like sending it to, I guess. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to send a raid over to Bobby Berserk once again. As always, feel free to hit him up with either a drag raid, drags out, or a combination of the two. All right, then, my friends, for now, I suppose that'll be it for the stream. I hope you all enjoyed, and I shall catch you guys on Wednesday. I'm sorry, I'm still, I'm still getting used to remembering what my schedule is. All right. For now, though, it's time to cue the outro. All right, break out. I'll catch you guys later.